What is up, goons, gangsters, and gamers? It is your boy, the Good Sir Knight, in an obnoxious boonie hat, my operator. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for far too long. Anyway, today we're doing a review on not the Cry G3 combat shirt. We're actually looking at the uh, Dry Fire combat shirt, which is uh, similar, but not, because it's also different, and it's made by Dry Fire. So, it's a good shirt, ultimately, but there's a lot of differences and things separating it that I want to uh, kind of like discuss with you so you can do a little review here. For one, this material is very, very green. And the whole thing is far more fire retardant than the uh, Cry G3 shirt. However, all that Nomex or whatever stuff is in there, it uh, it retains a lot more heat. So while this is going to ventilate relatively well, it kind of feels like the, um, was it the, uh, what's the other one I'm looking for? The Frog, the Frog shirts. The Marine Corps Frog shirts have that uh, flame retardant material. It's a bit thicker. It's still supposed to be breathable because the plate carries and stuff, but it's still very, very hot. So you're going to sweat. For sure. Also, the uh, color fades relatively quickly by comparison to the uh, cries, because the flame uh, flame retardant material just gets eaten up by the sun a lot more, for whatever reason. So, with our boonie tip cover out of the way, we're gonna Michael Jackson our hat off that way. Ooh, nice. And we're gonna be reviewing this shirt. So, as you know, the uh, cry shirt is the best known, uh, generally considered the superior shirt. Although that's not to say that the uh, cry or the uh, the dry fire shirt isn't uh, compatible. They also make like dry fi or cry fires as they're called, but you know, kind of like a combination ordeal. So first off, pockets on the shoulders, most notably, cry uses the split design so that the patches and stuff get a bit uh, better catch, break up, all that stuff is just. A better design ultimately folds better, whereas the uh, dry fire is still using the old school big fat flap over there. On the inside, it is single pocket. It's not double layered like the cries. Not necessarily a bad thing. I'm probably never going to use the double layered pockets for anything anyway. But that's a cool little thing. Off on the left pocket, there is also a little slot for uh, two pens on the inside there. Get a good look at it. A little slot, two pens. If you want to carry your pen somewhere. And that's all there really is to those pockets. They're a decent size. They're um, definitely angled, aren't they? The uh, Yeah, the material is definitely a little crunchy and stuff compared to the double strip design Cry uses, so not bad. Um, the shirt is very, very green by comparison. Cry uses a way more subdued vegetation green. This is a uh, goblin green, orc green, <laughs> some fantasy creature green. Um, once you got to go, the collar has this uh, Velcro tab up here, so you can actually kind of lash that around your neck, sort of like dog collar, kink shaming style. Now, I guess that would help out with the brass and stuff. It's definitely going to keep the collar in one place, whereas the cry just kind of like zips all the way straight up to the top and uses a little protective nubule to keep everything comfy up there. So, I would already say it's not as comfortable, although the added fire resistance is going to be nice. It's a bit more form fitting, so. If you're uh, still working off that uh, that gut from the pandemic thickness, uh, it's, it's going to show. So if you're ready to be embarrassed or to also suck it in to the best of your ability for the entirety of a video. Um, so yeah, we covered a lot of the basics. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the elbow pad inserts. Um, they are also reversed from Cry. Cry loads in from the front, right? I'm not crazy, am I? I gotta, I gotta check every day. My wife will just gaslight me if I don't. Yeah, the cry loads up from the bottom. This actually loads in from the top, so you can actually get access to that relatively easily, even when you start rolling the sleeves a wee bit. So, man, this collar is not... I wouldn't call this collar comfortable in any regard, but let's, uh, let's see how it looks. Throw on the old plate carrier. Ugh. I really love this SPC. Ugh. Take that, slap that in there, Ugh. slap this one over here, Ugh. there we go, makes me want to play, was it 2002, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, you know, back when A, Tom Clancy was still alive, alive and uh, Ghost Recon uses way more, I guess they're outdated weapons at this point, huh? It's kind of wild when stuff you remember from your childhood and teenage years becomes a uh, Ancient. It's just a weird sensation. But don't worry, you'll all get there. Or die trying. Hopefully you get there. Though. I'm, I'm rooting for you, if anyone ever asks. 
So play carry goes on. Lots of uh, the neck, the neck piece isn't going anywhere. This Velcro does loop. You can loop this back if you want to have the way, but eh. So it's a comfy enough fit. We are still very, very green on the torso. I feel like that green, even the green on the uh, Velcro, is going to be almost too green. I don't think you're actually going to blend into much more than a salad bar. So you know. Ugh. Do the sling on, make sure the sling is comfy. Yep, the sling stays up on the uh, collar. That's also going to help deflect hot brass and all that. I kind of wish I still didn't eat my booty cover into the abyss because I kind of wish I had it now. But yeah, there you go. You're all operated out. Like you do, you know, so. It's comfy. It works. It's functional. I think they generally go for close to the same price as Cry's anyway, so. If we get down... It's brass tacks. The real question. Do you want dry fire or do you want cry? And I gotta say dry fire is good. I do like dry fire. It's still nice. This is actually a medium short. So that material like goes just past the belt and that's it. The cries fit a lot better. But that aside, these just really, I mean I didn't get this new like I did with the cry shirt but yeah it's um, I mean the fading's gonna actually help with blending in. That's how bright all these colors are. I prefer the actual shirt material to blend. Uh, let's see. I prefer that to fade a bit more so it actually blends in a bit more. Oh, it's not necessarily crazy hot out today, but considering I was wearing the cries for filming earlier, now I'm wearing this. It's noticeable. It's not like crazy hot, but it's um definitely like frogs. It's, it, it feels a bit warmer. It's probably not as bad. But again, remember, you're fire resistant. You're not going to incinerate and just burn away crazy so it's not a bad shirt I think it's decent but between this and cry well cry is gonna hold its color better the material I think holds up a wee bit better on cries too they're just not nearly as fire resistant so depending on how much fire maybe in your AO or maybe you have like a candle lighting ceremony at the local cult or whatever I don't know um, yeah you're not gonna catch fire and burn so that's pretty cool so that's all I really got for you guys. Oh my god, this collar is not comfy. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm uh, my vote's gonna be with Cry, and not just to be like a huge Cry fanboy, but just honestly, it is a lot more comfortable by comparison. I also think the material's a bit lighter too. Yeah, the with the shirt being a lot thinner, it's also gonna cut out a lot of the extra weight. So that's all I got for you guys. Um. I don't know, anyone ever play like Warcraft 2? Wants to shout like Zabu and Zug Zug and whatnot at the top of my lungs just worrying. It's so green! Like, I like green, but Jesus! My watch isn't that green! So, <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done, that's the review. That's the review, guys. Everyone go home. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even have inserts. What is this? There's a little pocket up on the front for some reason. What about this side? Is there one here too? Yeah, there's one there too. I don't know what the significance of that significance of that is, but that's kind of cool. I guess you could put like custom matting and stuff in there if you don't have the shoulder, the pad, all the pads or whatever. But hey, that's all I got for you guys. These are very salty camis. I'd be pretty proud of that much salt in my uniform. So. Cheers, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, hit me up. No, I'm not going to set this on fire. Pyromaniacs out there and like, yeah, it's flame retardant. Just uh, coat yourself in gasoline. No. Nah. Nah. But yeah, that's a little review. Um, it's a shirt. There you go. Cheers. Bye. See you guys later. Peace.